Welcome, Clash Sky Crew, to another episode of Reacting to Viral Baseball Videos. Sadly, the baseball season has come to an end. The World Series champion Astros have been crowned, and that still does not mean I'm going to wear their hat. But congratulations. Especially since I got this fresh new haircut today, the blonde is slowly phasing out, getting back to that natural hair color you see here, and a little bit here. I also got to open some P.O. Box stuff. I've been waiting on that for a while. My apologies. We'll be opening one of these every two or three clips, and we will also be predicting the winner for every MLB award finalist because those were just announced. So let's get started and let's roll the intro. Headphones are all tangled up. Man, I just hit myself in the face with that. Now we are ready. Hey, Jake Vesicki, I know him. He's hung out with the Kandes quite a bit. Let's go. It's very loud, hold on. The dugout when they know the O2 fastball is coming. And, oh, I mean, the high fastball is tempting. You're not alone, Jake, you're not alone. See, now I'm on to you ladies. Now I know why y'all like baseball so much. Was nobody gonna tell me they was working with a damn dump truck back then? It's the caboose. Ooh, Baseball players got the booty. They got dump trucks. It's not a mystery. We haven't been hiding it. And as if the view from behind wasn't already good. Kevin Kermaine, I don't know how to put <laughs> Kevin Kermaine? Kiermeyer. She's gonna talk about his eyes. Just like my ocean blue eyes. I'm obsessed with this man's eyes. I knew it. Yeah, my nephew ain't gonna be the only one needing diapers for this game. Cause if you tell me there's players looking like him, oh. Whoa. Hey everybody, so when the mic fell, it stopped recording. So for the rest of the video, it's camera audio. Sorry. Baby, I feel like I'm on an infomercial. Just wait, it keeps getting better. Well, I, I, uh, me right here, Austin Kleschka. I got my baby blues and I'm one inch taller, 6'2". Just saying. Man is over six foot. Oh my God. Tampa Bay Rays, y'all got me. So go over and get your girl season passes because I want to be front and center. Me, me too, because I haven't been to Tropicana Field yet. I need to check that one off. So get Austin Kleschka front and center, Rays. How does that sound? Kevin, baby. I, I see that's the position you play. Captain well, of the don't outfield. Don't worry, baby, because I play many positions of my own, if you know what I mean. Damn, oh. girl. This clip right here, and then we'll open a P.O. Box letter and predict the finalist. Ooh, I've used that bat in our baseball games. I actually like that bat a lot. But was this just like a thirst trap for baseball bats? That was all? Just brushing his teeth and then boom, baseball bats. Just, uh, I got a baseball bat. Anyways, let's open one of these. I'm gonna take this one that is from Texas from Teal Griffin. And you made it very easy for me to open with just the tape. Thank you. If you guys want to send something to my P.O. Box, it's in the description, the address. And please send it like that. Oh man, we got fancy here. Look at this Photoshop right here. You got Mike Trout, you got the Spider-Man logo, Angels. I feel like he did more than one, my goodness. Oh, there's multiple. It's just three of the same. There's one in black and white too, check that out. Wow, okay, never had something like this in the P.O. Box before. Unique, very unique Teal. Just like your name, Teal Griffin. I never met or heard of anybody named Teal. Do you have a brother named Turquoise? Back to reacting now. Let me see this. Specifically high school and even some early this. college athletes. Uh, Within our elite baseball uh, program, we uh, focused on three yeah. qualities uh, to improve your ability yeah. to cover more range. More range. These three qualities are acceleration, uh, lateral force production, and agility. So course. change of direction and the ability yeah. to make decisions on the go. So here yeah, are five exercises from our elite baseball program that focus go, specifically go. on improving your range. This way. For more workout. Mm -mm. Didn't know I was going to be getting a workout in this video. Oh, I think we've seen this in another video for Baseball React. We definitely have, and we can all relate. Very relatable. I forgot to predict the awards. First, we're gonna start with the NL Manager of the Year finalist. We have Dave Roberts, Buck Showalter, and Brian Snicker. And like Fireball said, how did Thompson not even get nominated? The dude took over his manager in the middle of the season and then took the team to the World Series. That's my winner. But if I'm picking from these three, I'm giving it to Brian Snicker. The way they fought back and took the division from the Mets in the very last weeks of the season is very impressive. Dave Roberts has the most talented team probably in baseball and they just can't finish the job. 
So that's the reason there. And Buckshaw Walter, you collapsed you and the Mets at the end of the season. American League, Terry Francona, Brandon Hyde, and Scott Service. Well, out of these three, I'm gonna give it to Scott Service. Finally breaking the Mariners out of their playoff drought. It was over 20 years, ladies and gentlemen, and this man managed the team and helped them break that. But just like the National League, there's a guy that's not on here. Dusty Baker, man, he won the World Series. I know he's got a very talented roster to work with, making it probably a little bit easier for him. But definitely, out of these three guys, they took their clubs and they brought them to places they did not think would even be possible. The Orioles are starting to look like they might have a pretty bright future. And Terry Francona took a very young team and won the division with them. Back to the TikToks. What in the world? Oh, uh, we all know this player, at least I do. I mean, boom, bam, yeah. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, not soccer, not soccer. But uh, if what you gotta do, what you gotta do. And if kicking the ball to get it in is gonna work, then do it. I'll tell you, if you're 10 years old and your coach says get on top of the ball. Tell him no. Tell him no. Oh, I'm just... <laughs> oh. oh, hey Jake, you're back. <laughs> hey man, oh, you silly guy. That audio is meant for baseball players. <laughs> and, oh, 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 G give him the velo slap. It looked like it got slower, I'm just saying. Anyways, time for another P.O. Box letter. The McCod family from Maine, and just like the first one, you guys use tape. Thank you, makes it a lot easier, less of a mess. Aha, we have a letter. Hi, Austin, my YouTube is SPG Sports. If you could check it out, my YouTube inspiration to start was you. I've been sub since 2018, thank you. Hit one mil, this guy deserves it. I would definitely appreciate it if you do see this. And I think they drew some of the angels. Check, oh my God. We have Shohei Trout and Rendon. Go ahead and check them out right there. Oh my goodness. Very good. That also means it's time for some more award predictions. The AL Cy Young finalists, Dylan Cease, Alec Manoa, and Justin Verlander. I'm giving this one to Justin Verlander. What he did at his age, having arguably his best year, was insane. So that's it for me right there. Justin Verlander, American League Cy Young. National League Cy Young, we have Sandy Alcantara, Max Fried, and Julio Urias. This this is going to be a tight battle among these three, but I'm going Sandy Alcantara. The distance, the amount of games, the amount of work Sandy Alcantara put in this year is why I think he deserves it. He was pitching like nobody else in the National League, if you ask me. Sure, there were other guys with good stats, but the way Alcantara was doing it was just different to me. My NL Cy Young is Sandy Alcantara. All right, what do we got here? A little off the end of the bat over third. Is this Chuck Norris? Oh no, he's gonna get sniped. No, not by Chuck Norris. Oh! You have to retire. If you got sniped by literally anybody else, sure, get back up on your feet and play the game of baseball. But when it's Chuck Norris, I'm sorry. Your career's over, no matter how old you are. There he is! 6'5", 250, white kid in big country. Oh. Did he really call his shot? <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see if he even hits it that way. He did! Wow! Congratulations. What's going on here at Montclair State? Sorry. What's up, Catch? What's up, Blue? Hey, hey how you doing? Meet again. 69. You guys got all these high numbers, man. Smoke! No! Man, come on. Oh, Blue, Catch, you alright? Oh, uh, did you hit him? Let him hit me next pitch. It'll make you feel <laughs> God damn it, God damn it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, man, that's a ball. That's low. Lay that one off. Oh, ah, nah, man, that was like a short, like, safety swing. You were under that one. You got jammed, too. Oh, I got to get two hits. Yeah, come on, multi-hit days. And reaching, it looks like. Let's go, baby. Taking it where it wants to go. Opposite field. Woo! There you go. Woo! Doing your job, man. It was, it, oh, my God. Woo! That was a dog. When he gets on, does that not look like a horse? I thought that was a horse on that porch right there. But it's a dog. Woo! It's a dog. What's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you the way I like to break in my gloves. Okay, I've heard under your mattress. I've heard taping it up with a big old elastic band. I've heard putting it in the microwave. I've heard beating the hell out of it with a sledgehammer. What do you got for me? As you can see, it's not broken in at Yeah, all. very stiff. Let's see what we can do with it. We're going to be using a mallet, a shaving cream with aloe, a crossbow, baseball, and a mat. It's nothing new to me. A little bit of shaving cream in the Okay, bowl. I haven't heard of this. To warm up the shaving cream in the microwave for 45 seconds. Are we making a meal or are we breaking in a glove? Now I'm going to put a coat of the warm shaving cream all over the glove. Interesting. I've never been a fan of these techniques. I'm sure they work. 
But I don't know. No, I'm gonna start working the pot. I just don't like just putting like stuff this. on my glove like that. Now I'm gonna start softening the leather with the mallet. Of course, yes. That's one technique that everybody that breaks in a glove usually goes through. You can see the difference with it already after five minutes of breaking it in. Oh yeah, definitely easier. Now we're gonna play a little but are you sure that wasn't just all the work of the mallet? It's working. I mean, he's able to catch with it. And if I have nobody to throw with, I have a lacrosse ball, a cement wall, and it basically replicates playing catch. Damn, I need to get myself a lacrosse ball, bro. We've gone through a few clips now. Let's open another P.O. Box letter that is sealed with tape. You're all listening and I love it. Okay, actually they licked it and they used tape. Something, I'll, I'll look at it in a second. It's on the back. Uh, well, I'm trying not to look at it, but there's something on this. Hi, my name is Chase and I am from Illinois. I'm a fan of Benny, Andy, and Bobby's channel. You're my favorite Dodger film member. I think that you are great at baseball, softball, basketball, and football. I'm a fan of the St. Louis Cardinals. How are you from Illinois and a fan of the Cardinals? You know, because the Cubs, Illinois, uh, whatever. Let's keep going. I also really like the Angels. Keep up the good work. And he drew some little pictures right there. Now, let's see what you sent me here. We have a Mike Trout and a Jared Walsh baseball card right there. Let's do some more awards predictions. NL Rookie of the Year finalists, Brendan Donovan, Michael Harris, and Spencer Strider. In this one, I'm going to give the Spencer Strider to come in as a rookie pitcher and just fill a slot in the rotation as well as he did. I think he deserves it. And then we have AL Rookie of the Year. This one is stacked. Stephen Kwan, Julio Rodriguez, Adley Rutschman. Kwan, great defender this year. And we have Adley came up late and proved he was worth the pick where he was selected. But Julio Rodriguez, man, there's a reason he's front and center right here. He did so many crazy things at such a young age, the 25-25 club, and I think he's taking the award home. And now we'll finish off reacting, and then we have, hey, Jackson Olsen right here. I am the stick to TikTok. Yeah, Jackson, I met him during All-Star Week, and now he's playing for the Savannah Bananas. That's awesome. That is all for the reacting. Let's finish this video off with another P.O. Box letter and predicting the MVPs for the season. From Little Rock, Arkansas. Here we go. To Austin Kleshkla. You spelled my name wrong. I'll show you how they spelled it right there. That is not correct, but I'll give you a little spelling lesson right here. It's K-L-E-S-C-H-K-A, just like you see on the channel. Maddox, I am from Arkansas. I am nine years old. I have been watching for one year. I love your personality. You and Gabe are my favorite. My three favorite players are Otani, Tatis, and Molina. I am a catcher. My favorite team is the Cardinals. Can you shout out to Crush? It's my baseball team. What up, Crush? That's just a simple letter right there from Maddox. And it can be that simple. You can also send me something to my P.O. Box if you want. And let's predict the MVPs for the year. We have AL. It is Judge, Otani, and Jordan. I really think it's between Judge and Otani. Jordan had a great year, but these two, I think they were just in a league of their own. Otani, you know, he hits, he pitches. It's amazing. And then Judge. He just had to have one insane year, man. He broke the American League home run record. He was chasing triple crown. And I think his year outweighs Otani's. It hurts to say that, but Judge is the American League MVP. For the National League, Arenado, Machado, and Paul Goldschmidt. Don't get me wrong. Machado and Arenado had great years. But I think Goldschmidt from the start of the year all the way to the end was tremendous. He was also chasing a triple crown like Aaron Judge. Neither of them got it, but the fact that you are in that conversation, that you're trying to get that achievement, is something in itself that tells everybody how great you are just based on your game. So I think the National League MVP will be Paul. Goldschmidt. If you made it to the end of this video, I want you to leave your award predictions in the comments. Go along with me just like I did in this video. Let me know what you think of the new format for opening P.O. Box stuff. Do you like doing it in between clips? Comment on the video. Let me know your thoughts. Tell me how your day is. I love looking at the comments, reading them. It gives me something to do and it helps myself and the viewers, you guys, interact. I got this, you got this, we all got this. Like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time.